SpaceX just conducted another static fire test of its Starship booster, marking the second such test since the orbital launch in April. SpaceX, as always, stunned everyone with their speed of resolution, addressing almost every issue that arose during the first test conducted on August 6th. If you recall, the ignition of the 33 Raptor engines during this test didn't proceed as intended. Four of the engines malfunctioned and shut down prematurely, leading to the entire test being terminated before its intended duration. Instead of the targeted five seconds, the test lasted only 2.74 seconds. Such anomalies provided clear indications that SpaceX was grappling with the reliability of its Raptor engines. Fast forward to today and SpaceX's latest static fire test showcased significant progress. This test observed almost a full five seconds of firing, powered impressively by all 33 Raptor engines, suggesting that the firm has addressed many of the earlier concerns. What distinguishes the last two static fire tests from previous ones is the introduction of the water deluge system. If you recall, following the completion of repairs and the development of the new water deluge system, SpaceX promptly scheduled the static fire test. This was not just to test the Starship's Raptor engines, but also to evaluate the newly implemented deluge system. In reality, the efficacy of this system could only be truly gauged when faced with the intense heat thrust from the booster's engines. Today's firing of the Booster 9 served a dual purpose. Not only did it test the rocket's readiness, but it also provided a real-time assessment of the newly implemented water system. For this test, Booster 9 was prepared, filled with liquid oxygen and methane, the propellants necessary for the engines. Secured on the Starbase orbital launch mount, the first step in the sequence was activating the deluge system. This crucial measure released a torrent of water beneath the launch mount, a deliberate action intended to protect the infrastructure and mitigate the extreme heat generated by the engines. This water barrier not only reduces the risk of damage from the fiery blast, but it also dampens the blasting sounds. With these protective measures in place moments later, the 33 Raptor engines roared to life for the static fire test, firing the 33 Raptor engines for nearly the intended five seconds. Enormous clouds of mist enveloped the orbital launch mount. This visual marvel was a result of the intense heat from the engines meeting the water from the deluge system, causing it to instantaneously vaporize. In the past, those familiar with static fire tests would recall the aftermath being dominated by flying dust and debris. However, this recent instance stood out in stark contrast. The environment was noticeably cleaner and less chaotic. This significant improvement can be attributed to the newly implemented water deluge system. Following the impressive display, Musk wasted no time sharing the achievement with the world. He immediately took to X, formerly known as Twitter, and exclaimed, Successful Starship Super Heavy Booster Static Fire! Alongside his announcement, he shared a captivating image of Booster 9, majestically positioned atop the launch mount. After the successful static fire test, many experts believe this might be the last test before the next big launch. SpaceX seems ready for it. They plan to use Booster 9 for this launch along with another part of the upper stage prototype, Ship 25. Together, they'll be the stars of the next mission. Musk's recent prediction of a 60% success rate for Starship reaching orbit isn't just based on hope. It's rooted in real improvements and careful planning. Musk shared that SpaceX has made over 1,000 design changes to the vehicle, showing the company's dedication. One of the main changes is the introduction of hot staging. This means the engines of Starship's upper stage are started up before it separates from the booster. To support this new approach, several adjustments were needed. A vented interstage was added, and a protective heat shield was placed on top of Booster 9. This ensures the booster is protected from the intense heat from its partner stage, Ship 25. SpaceX gave fans a look at these new features, sharing photos on X last week. The work of putting these changes into action took place within an assembly building at Starbase. Once everything was set, Booster 9 was moved to the orbital launch mount. It was here, both on August 6th and today, that the booster proved its strength with a successful static fire engine test. The anticipation is palpable, and the question on everyone's lips is, when will the orbital launch test take place?
Musk recently responded to the update with an optimistic note hinting, next Starship launch soon. But how soon is soon? Well, there's been chatter suggesting that SpaceX is targeting August 31st for the launch. How did this date come to light? Well, SpaceX recently reached out to the US Coast Guard. It's a standard procedure to notify the Coast Guard ahead of big launches. This interaction not only hints at a potential launch date, but also ensures maritime safety. By giving this heads up, ships in the area can be aware of any risks linked to the rocket's takeoff. While the clues point to August 31st, we'll have to wait and see if that's the chosen day. Amidst the mounting excitement, one significant obstacle remains acquiring the FAA license for the next launch. SpaceX recently presented its final report to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration concerning the inaugural launch of the Starship, a mission that met an unexpected end merely four minutes post-liftoff on April 20th. Launched from SpaceX's Starbase in Texas, the Starship aimed to circle Earth, targeting a splashdown near Hawaii. However, its stages failed to separate correctly. To mitigate risks, SpaceX activated a self-destruct, causing the Starship to explode over the Gulf of Mexico. The aftermath of the failed launch left a crater beneath the site's orbital launch mount and scattered debris, including chunks of concrete across the vicinity. This incident triggered a swift investigation overseen by the FAA. This investigation aimed to ascertain the events of April 20th and devise measures to improve future launch success rates. As of August 15th, the report has been officially submitted by Musk's SpaceX. However, this doesn't guarantee Starship's clearance for another flight. Importantly, this isn't SpaceX's inaugural tussle with the FAA. Many recall the April 20th launch, which experienced numerous delays primarily due to licensing issues, but ultimately took off. Deep down, there's a collective belief that SpaceX, with its track record of perseverance, will navigate these bureaucratic hurdles successfully once more. If we get lucky and the FAA greenlights the necessary license in the coming days, we could be witnessing the colossal starship take to the skies as early as August 31st. Here's hoping, fingers crossed. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more similar content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.